Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining us to vlog number 12. I feel like we've been doing the vlog for such a long time, but it's still quite a diddy little number. But you know, baby steps. Um, lovely to see you again. I know that we haven't filmed one of these for a little bit, but uh, it will now be returning as a more regular feature. So that's good and this one is a little bit of like a catch me up on um what we've been up to over the last couple months and then i've also got some friendly new faces to show you which is great um it's our little marketing team and they're super integral behind the scenes but uh until now they've very much been behind the scenes so i'm looking forward to being able to introduce you to both lauren and sam and then we've also got um a little close-up of this yummy special and i think laura's going to show you a machine so it's just a nice little kind of catch-up episode and then they'll be more regular and we'll get into all kinds of exciting bits and bobs in the future so without further ado let's get stuck in and i'll introduce you to lauren i've got a very integral member of the team with me today um and probably most of you folks at home won't actually have met lauren yet but hi i'm lauren <laughs> <laughs> but you have been gracing us with your presence for like, God, it must be best part of a year. When did you April. start? April. So yeah, not, it's quite yeah. a long time now. Time flies. It really flies, especially at the moment. So I may have met some people at the last open weekend or at Unravel. Yeah which is really fun. Definitely. And also, if you, you know, ever email us or chat to us on social media, you actually manage the social media, don't you as well, Lauren? Yeah, so. yeah. So if you ever want to chat with me on Instagram, please yeah. do. <laughs> so like you it. might have been, you might have been chatting with Lauren without realising that's what was happening. Yeah. <laughs> So it's brilliant to actually be able to kind of have you on the vlog today and introduce you. Slightly nerve-wracking as well, but you know, we'll, we'll be all right. It's all Everyone's nice. very friendly. Yeah. <laughs> the nice people at home, they'll be very sympathetic, I'm sure. <laughs> I can't think there's many folks watching at home that will want to be getting up and making Instagram or YouTube videos either. <laughs> so. It's all fun. It's it all is. Fun. It's all fun and games. Definitely. Um, and it's always good when you've got very nice things to talk about and exactly. show up. Exactly. So, yeah. If it's woolly stuff, it can't be can't go too terrifyingly wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so the reason that you folks won't have seen Lauren before is because Lauren actually works from home most of the time, don't you? I do. Yeah, I come and visit the mill maybe once a month or so, but mm. yeah, most of the time I'm working remotely in Birmingham. If you yeah. hadn't have noticed from the accent, but yeah, I'm from Birmingham <laughs> yeah. and. Um, I live there with my family and we've got um we've just moved into our house and we've been doing a lot of renovations mm. so there's lots of room for nice woolly makes at home now yeah. and um yeah it's 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 been good and i've uh yeah i've just been enjoying working from home yeah it's definitely been it's been well. definitely but then part of the problem is that we're just we've been really busy with too many things and haven't managed to sneak you on the vlog yeah. yet so yeah it's nice but to say hi properly definitely um, and on the subject of the vlog, we haven't really had a vlog for a while either because it's just been busy, it has. quite busy, taking over a new company, doing all the things, but dust is starting to settle now. So, yeah. But we have been up to lots, haven't we, Lauren? We have. So, I mean, we've had a big launch for Yana Delic Wested, which you've probably yes. seen, but um, we were going to show it off to you properly. Yes, and it's just gorgeous stuff, oh, isn't it? Is. It? it is. We've both had a bit of an, a chance to knit with it as well, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just absolutely sensational. I kind of, I think it's, I feel like it's bouncier than the sport weight. I know what you mean. It does feel like that. And um, it's all the same shades that we've got in our lovely sport range, mm. but it's just, yeah, it feels a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got its it own shouldn't, quality. But it sort of does. A bit more generous, I guess. Maybe, it's slightly yeah. thicker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sort of hugs you back while you're working with it. Um, and then I know you were working with Emily from Tin Can Knits. Yes. Well, we've had their lovely star flower blanket pattern, which is absolutely gorgeous. And okay. shall we uh, oh, each hold a bit yes, so that we so can that show that it folks can see it? Which way round are we going? This way round. 
Okay. Is that in shot? Sam's nodding from off yeah. screen. Yes. All good. <laughs> She's saying, angle it, angle it so. <laughs> is that is that an improvement? <laughs> <laughs> there we go <laughs> so this blanket pattern actually you can make up in so many different weights but mm. obviously we've got it here in the Wested in Yonadelic Wested and it just does show off really nicely it's gorgeous and it makes yeah it's a we've got it here as the rainbow but again you could do it in a more monochrome palette if yeah. you fancied and we've got kits for that available on the site we've got yeah. the kits in the rainbow and, and kits in a sort of creamy yeah, undyed which is very classy yeah. this is the fun version yes and then there's also an ever so sophisticated version isn't there that's right so um yeah and we've got kits for all of the different weights as well so perfect that's quite handy. should we give folks a close-up so that they can yes. see each individual kind of hexagon properly because there's so much beautiful detail on there definitely so we've got a rainbow of Yarnadelic Worsted going on here with all the different shades and one mini skein in the Worsted makes up one of these little flowers. So we've got all of the different shades and then at the edge going round there's an eye cord and I think that's in the indigo dust. It is and that just makes it really nice and neat doesn't it? Mm, it does, ties it all together. Definitely. But it's absolutely beautifully mm. knitted by Hillary as well. I think she's an amazing job. My tension tends to vary sometimes, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure that all my squares would be the same size if I made it. But there we are. So I think you start in the middle and then work your way out. Mm -hmm. And then the cast off is just at the edge. Oh, it's nice to show off all the different shades as well. Mm, for sure. Shall I move it around? We can try and get a darker mm. section. Yep. There's all the blues. And then let's try and find a slightly paler section. What's over here? Hiding in this corner. Mm. The nice Ooh. thing I think about this blanket as well is it actually looks great on the reverse side. Mm. It's, a, it's a really yeah lovely pattern. Shall we show folks that as yeah. well? Let me flip it round. Whoop, there we go. It's got that nice like central spine then, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And That's actually, it. which you probably can't see on the video, but um, it does this magical sort of reflecting of like s snowflake sort of pattern. Um, You're right. When you yeah. hold it up, which people will just have to make it themselves to see what you it looks like, what find the out. shadow it makes. <laughs> <laughs> it is gorgeous though. Mm hmm. And, you know, it's definitely quite exciting to have uh, lovely Emily of Tin Can Knits want to use our yarn. That was a nice Absolutely. email to receive. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Without a doubt. Such a beautiful colour, that dark one. And they've done absolutely stunning work with it. So I've got another unfamiliar face with me now. All the new people today, Hello. very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you are slightly newer and shinier than Lauren. I am. Yeah. No less wonderful. You're both equally marvellous. <laughs> um, so Sam is the other um, kind of person in my marketing team. So there's there's three of us. Mm. It's very exciting. A little, little group now, aren't exactly. we? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so yeah. You've been with us for like two months. Yeah. And again, it. you largely work from home. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you could tell the nice people at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite as far away as Lauren. Mm. Um, I live just outside of Bath uh, in a very old little building, which again, there seems to be a theme of renovation and rebuilding in this place. <laughs> it's either machines or renovations, I think, and gardens. That's the sort of running yeah. theme. Apart from yarn, obviously. We tend to have um, people who like like a project yeah, and like it. to keep busy, I think. Because yeah. like... <laughs> yeah, we haven't got enough to do, quite no. frankly. Um, and I live at home with my partner and we have two cats and some chickens and a very long garden. And we recently bought the house next door because we're going to be renovating 
thing into that so that really won't keep me as busy for a while but uh <laughs> yeah no it's, it's good fun mm. nice little old cottage so mm. i mainly work from home and i've been to the mill a couple of times it's the second yeah. time i've been so, yeah yeah and exactly. it was very exciting the first time i think i i said on the whatsapp group that it was a bit like your cat going outside yeah. for the first time being sort of excited and overwhelmed simultaneously <laughs> and that's pretty much what my first day at the mill was um yeah i think i had a headache probably for two days after that because it was just we a lot of stuff to, we do tend to cram it in yeah. but because in sam and lauren way. only visit yeah. for like two days every like six yeah. weeks it's like okay all the things but you know but in a good way good. you yeah, know it's it was a good sort of headache we have the a kind lot of headache too. that i sort of learned a lot and <laughs> met a lot of people and that kind of thing. just overly stimulated yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of a dark room of course but then you know we're on computers so that's exactly most of the time, so, yeah. Um, and what you've been working on mostly the last couple months is you've really kind of helped us make a start on the annual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is number the three. third annual. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so I kind of like the annual, the fact that it isn't really annual. That's kind of a bit of a quirk of uh, the chat. And that may change. It may change. You never know. Um, yeah. Or we may just all have a bit of a breakdown after the yeah. third one and decide to take make it a biannual yeah, annual we'll see we did to be fair there was a global pandemic <laughs> in the middle there. so you know but yeah we're gonna aim to get the annual out again and it's all a bit top secret still but um over the course of the next kind of couple of months mm -hmm. we'll start dropping some little hints mm -hmm. but there's much more patterns than there were there in the are. first two yeah. so you've yeah. got a bigger job than uh, exciting patterns people yeah. are gonna love those when they come out definitely yeah. definitely yeah. definitely yeah. and there's a real mixture of like lots of different things in there yeah as well. using as much of our range as possible and there's mm. even some stuff in there for spinners as well yeah. which would be great so and crochets and yeah. knitters everything so oh and um is there anything else Oh, no, we've no. got lots of articles yeah. and then some recipes and things yeah. but uh those are all more yeah. like they're up here at the moment yeah. still aren't they yeah. so big chat coming up <laughs> soon <laughs> be one of our trips yeah, exactly <laughs> but no it's grand to have sam here with us as well and both you and lauren will be familiar fixtures on the vlog for anyone who watches at home over over the next couple of you know into the future yeah. so and open days and things yeah, like that so definitely. you'll see us at shows and things so, yeah yeah come and say so. hello we like to say hello to people mm. yeah <laughs>
talk about we've got tops as well yeah um this is only in two of the shades this is valley mist which is the second one this, so that's yeah, that this one, one here and then foggy morning which is the darkest um oh shade which we've got there so that's yeah. basically what they are and so this one is um i'm just looking at the sheet mm -hmm. alpaca bfl and jacob fine brown yeah a little bit of that which is what gives it the little sort of the warmth yeah and then this one's got a bit more jacob fine brown yeah. it's more it's a 30 30 30 sort of blend um so that one that one i mean i'm a spinner as well and that one will be a really nice one to do sort of drop spindling or whatever with because it'll be, have a little bit of grip on it i'm actually quite intrigued to know how they come up yeah. where they come up similarly to mm -hmm. what it is um, when it's commercially done or just something nice yeah. but yeah have a good squish and uh yeah. definitely if you're watching this in the future we may not have all of it available but we do have a fair bit don't we at the moment yeah. so yeah don't worry i'm sure there will be something for you if you're watching it now um we've got it all on the side yeah. if fancy having a look definitely and should we give folks a close-up of yes. that gradient and so. of the hat you're wearing you'll have yeah. to take it off so uh, i'm just keeping my head warm <laughs> it's getting a bit cooler in the mill now it so. is yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the subtle gradient going on here and at the lightest section we've got Snow Flurry, which is the lovely alpaca and BFL. Shall I give folks a little close-up of that? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. So that's the lightest one, which is like a nice creamy colour. It is, it's not a pure white though is it? It's that no. like definitely a warm tone. Definitely, and then you've got Valley Mist as the next one along which is yeah obviously you can see it's a little bit a little bit gray a little bit more heathered because mm. that's got the little bit of jacob and fine brown in it yeah definitely. and then we can move on to frosted Whoop. dunes and this is quite a subtle transition isn't it but it makes that lovely gradient as you said definitely definitely i think when we look at helena's hat we could we'll be able to see the gradient even more but yeah it just mm. looks lovely doesn't it and then the darkest one that we've got is Foggy Morning. There we go. And that's all of them together. Here's a little close up of Foggy Morning. Beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, nice dark wintry Foggy Morning. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've had a lot of them recently, <laughs> haven't we? Without a doubt. Definitely. And Sonia has created a lovely ball band for them nice and wintry it's a bit festive a little bit festive there's some flecks of snow on there I no like snow it. yet I but think it's beautiful, no. actually, maybe at some point band. oh thank you um which one's your favorite color have you each got a fave personally mine is valley mist so the second to lightest one this one yeah that's mm. my favorite one it's a really nice elegant kind of yeah. silver very wearable if i was going to make it into a nice little garment so i like the snow flurry and i think it's because you can really feel the alpaca in it this. it's very mm. soft very mm. soft it's almost it feels like it's oily but it's not it's the actual alpaca in yeah it. it gives it that kind of lovely yeah. soft yeah well that one they do all have because they're a natural gradient they do all have slightly different percentages so there's a higher wool content in the darker shade yeah. and a higher alpaca yeah. content so you can just feel that subtle difference and if you can't decide on your favorite and you decide you want all of them we have then, an option uh, for you we certainly do <laughs> which is look at these little babies little minis these so. are my favorite then you get a bit of all of them yeah and we've never done this before but it's quite nice we should do more of it in future really mini skein bundles we should so, so they are so the cutest cute. they are and the mini skein bundles are exactly what you need to make this lovely hat of helena's yeah so you really can see the subtle shift of the gradient yeah, in that can't you definitely so there's a stripe here and then one here and then one right up at the crown it mm -hmm. even looks great inside if you look at the crown on the inside ooh, of this ooh, ooh. Lovely, are yeah. we going to check helena's finishing oh, oh no look it's beautiful. she's done a good job <laughs> as if we don't <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we find some ends on the vlog that's always exciting when we yeah. find the cheeky ends um yeah. it so is that's lovely. 25 grams of all of them yeah that you get in there and i think pack. it's just enough to make the hat with the pom-pom mm -hmm. and as you can see sam was looking fab in it earlier so <laughs> <laughs> and then of course if you'd rather spin your own we've also got 
tops some tippity top tops so these tops are well we've got valley mist as the lighter one and then we've got foggy morning as the slightly darker one yeah and there's you... a lot of misty foggy mornings here at the moment so. there are <laughs> there definitely are can i give you a little close-up so yeah. you can see the texture as well so you can see it's kind of glistening slightly because of mm. that alpaca which is nice too it is I think it's probably got enough wool to still be like a nice grippy spin. It wouldn't be too slithery, I don't think. No, because it's got that nice bit of Jacob in it, which will keep it. And BFL as well. Both lovely ones to spin Definitely. With. I'm really excited actually to see what people spin up in, yeah. in this. Definitely. I'd make a nice chunky, I think. Would you? It'd be great as a chunky. Nice, nice. Perfect. And now we're going to go across to Laura to talk about Ralph. So Laura's getting up something that's a little bit secret at the moment and we're getting a sneak peek of what she's doing there. Wonderful. Hello, I'm Laura. I work downstairs in production at the mill and today I thought I'd show you my friend Ralph. Oh, <laughs> My lovely Ralph. Uh, Ralph is a gill box uh, and we use the gill boxes for lots of different purposes at the mill. Today, we're doing a knocking down on Ralph, which means we're changing the weight per metre. So it arrives to us from the mills in Yorkshire, who processed it from fleece for us. It arrives, and it's usually something around 20 grams per metre, but that's too heavy for our next process. So we are knocking this down to 16 grams per metre. Uh, Jack has kindly done this for me this morning. Set it all up for yeah. you. And it's made this nice little, this is a metre of wool and it's checked the uh, weight of it and it's just right. So we're just about to start running this through. There's about 160 kilos to run through today. Ooh. So uh, someone's got the fun job of standing here and watching white wool go through a machine. <laughs> and this white wool is exciting actually uh, because it is our new blend for our Nipper Numbers uh, range. Yeah, let me come for a closer. Merino and 50% uh, BFL. Um, so it's just got a, a it's actually softer somehow and it just feels really nice so we want to make it basically make our yarn even better for you so that is what we're working with today lovely so let me tell you what does the gill box do uh we're using it as i just explained to change the grams per meter uh we do that use it changing the gear so it comes in there's a roller at the back and a roller at the front and you, the speed difference between those two allows you to draft out the fibre and uh, control the weight per metre coming out. We can also use the gill box to blend fibres and blend colours. So we could make up different blends like our Harvest Hues blend is Merino and Swart Balls. So we're putting two different fibres through and it'll blend them together. Uh, and at the same time, that would be mixing colours. And that's how we create all of our lovely heathered colours, is by blending them uh, through this machine. Uh, the last thing that uh, Ralph does is helps to align the fibres. So I'll open it up in a second, mm -hmm. show you inside. Basically, lots of sharp combs that run through the fibre really fast. And they make sure that all the individual fibres are running parallel, which is important for spinning. Also make sure any sort of little hooked over ends are straightened out. And we'll always go through the gill box at least twice to make sure that everything is nice and aligned, uh, ready for the next stages. Lovely. So let's open it up and see yes, please. Totally what on earth I'm talking about. You ready? Yeah. Here it comes. Ba -ching! Oh, actually opening that up. All those fearsome spikes. You can see all these pins are very sharp. I've been caught by them many times. And they run on a sort of like a conveyor belt. But it's not a conveyor belt, but it goes around and around at speed. So you can see the fibre comes through this back roller. And that just keeps pressure on the back. Through here. And these pins are running through the fibre as it runs through here to this front roller. Uh, which is keeping pressure on here. And this is going faster than that one, 
which means that you so draft it stretches it, out. it. Ah. It's not stretched because okay. that would damage the fibres. Yes. You're just drafting the fibres like that. Teasing them apart, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So we've got four ends coming in at the back. It looks so shiny. I think yeah. you can really tell the difference between the BFL yeah. is a bit shinier than the pure merino was. Yeah. It's got a nice luster. And it can, when the merino, the pure merino comes out, it's quite, um, the white anyway, is quite sort of like poofy mm. when it comes out. And this sort of has a nice, it holds itself because of that BFL yeah. content. Lovely. So that's what the inside of the machine looks like. Do you want to see it running? Yes, please, of course. Let's close it back down again. Secure Ralph down. And sometimes you have to clean his teeth, don't you? So oh, sometimes yeah. you are a dentist to <laughs> Ralph. They've been cleaned very recently, and especially because it's a white, uh, we'll always make sure the teeth are nice and clean because you don't want any little bits of another colour mm. um, accidentally Of running. course. So. so I'm going to turn it on. Uh, it'll be a bit noisy, but you'll get to see, uh, hopefully you'll see the fibre sort of rolling in on the back. Yes. And this will spin around and it's very fun. So here's the back of Ralph as well. And these are all those lovely bumps of tops. Ready when okay. you are. I don't want to turn it on and disrupt your lovely shot. <laughs> There you go. They get swirled into a pan. Looks like, like a ice cream. Yeah, a lovely swirl of ice cream. And as this gets fuller, the coil gets really sort of beautifully neat and nice. It's like Mr. Whippy, isn't yeah. it? So we'll fill up loads and loads of bags of that today, ready for blending up and spinning tomorrow. Amazing. Yay. And we're going to have the new knit by numbers in the white on the website fairly soon yeah, so, I think so if anyone wants to try that new blend yeah it's coming yeah. thanks to you making it today <laughs> cheers laura cheers bye guys and we have something else that's very exciting to show off it's a little book of sunshine it's all yellow it is it's a gorgeous book by d hardwick mm -hmm. um combining with the folks at liner magazine yes yeah definitely so this is the knitted fabric and d has used um our lovely knit by knit numbers, by numbers. in her has. butterfly chapter and we just have i think knit by numbers is our most extensive color palette and i think there's 121 different colors would you believe yeah and counting we added some a couple of years back um and so there's lots to pick from and dia's like the queen of color isn't she, she really queen? is the queen of color exactly so she's used our yarn a couple times before so we've got a really good relationship with her and it was really exciting to hear that line wanted to make a book with her so mm -hmm. yeah we were chuffed to bits and I think she's been working on it behind the scenes for a good couple of years. It's a big thing making a book. So we're really pleased for her that it's out yeah. now. And it is a gorgeous book. Mm. I mean, you'll see when we have a little close up in a little while, yeah. but you'll uh, you'll see all of her illustrations and her watercolours in there. And if you see her Instagram, it is just beautiful. All of her yeah. work rooms always look like the most inspiring places, Definitely. don't they? Def it's just like joyous, isn't it? And it's quite like, um, which I always tone with, like quite nature inspired. Yeah. So the chapter on us is all like butterflies, isn't it? Yeah. 
and then there's another one that's like meadow flowers mm -hmm. maybe so it's all quite natural which is nice yeah she's also combined with tuka wool and um dye kilkin yes she? so yeah there's some uh, other really lovely yarn companies there definitely so we won't flick through all of the patterns in the book um, but what we will do is pop a little link down below and then you can kind of see all the patterns in the book. Mm -hmm. And we do have books on the website if you fancy one for Crimbo or just, you know. It's a nice Christmas present. It, it? is, it <laughs> is. I think because it's a real like hardback kind of coffee table. It's just beautiful to look at. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't have kits because... It would have taken you and I quite a long time. Yeah. There's a lot of lovely colours that do, that do picked for all of the different garments and homeware. So if you do need a hand picking colours, please let us know. We would yes. love to help. We, we love, love picking colours. We love to help. But Dee picked such beautiful palettes. Mm -hmm. Um, and there were so many projects that I think probably, Lauren, you and I would have been there for like two weeks, Maybe. solidly. Trying to create products <laughs> on our website for them all. Yeah. <laughs> we love making the kits, but they don't happen by magic. So, um, yeah. but also then if you pop us an email, if you're interested in one, we can help you create a bespoke one just Absolutely. for you. So if you like blues or more warm tones, just let us know and, you know. We'll put our thinking caps on. Help you wrangle the 121 knit by numbers colours. Yes. <laughs> There's lots of cheese from it. Grand. Yeah. So thank you, Dee. Thank, thank you, you for choosing our lovely yarn. <laughs> Definitely. And we just can't wait. Um, do let us know if you're kind of making something because... Yeah, we would like to see it. Real treat. Definitely. I love that vest in there. I think I quite fancy one of those. It would be nice, mm. yeah. For Imagine sure. wearing it over a little shirt or something yeah. as well if it gets a bit cold. Definitely. Yeah. That's a good pattern. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. It's been uh, it's been nice to probably meet people virtually. Virtually. Show our faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Finally managed to drag you both on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it won't be the last time. <laughs> it definitely won't be. No, it's lovely. Lovely to have new folks to kind of yeah show to everyone at home yeah um bit of new yarn to show bit of new yarn and speaking of uh -huh. you're both holding some exciting things mm. yeah very exciting bit of uh excellent sock news for future future, future vlog future. exactly mm. so on the next vlog we'll be back and we'll be talking all about Exmoor sock because we've got four new colors coming and they're going to launch officially in January. But if you're a Sneaky Mill member, mm -hmm. you might even get a cheeky little pre-Christmas pre -Christmas update, maybe. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> yeah. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, Going to get on my sock machine and yes. run up a few samples. So exactly. we might show a few of those next that. time. Yeah. And then a Christmassy sample. For sure. Sample. For sure. Mm -hmm. Got a Christmassy red, so that would be yeah. nice. Yeah. And we've picked out some nice colour combos. So I think you're going to do us some mm. stripey inspiration. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Definitely. So we'll see you again soon. We promise. We already know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, wherever you are in the world, thanks so much for joining us. It really does mean a lot. Um, lovely to know you're out there watching what we're doing in our little corner of the world, just beavering away. <laughs> um, and, yeah. We hope you have a nice kind of enjoy the rest of your day. If it's a weekend, I like to think people are watching on a weekend with like a cup of tea in bed and like some crafting. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. That's probably what I would want to do. So yeah, if that is what you're doing, then good work. You're living life <laughs> to the fullest. <laughs> Feel free to let us know what you are doing while you're watching. Yeah, exactly. Within reason. Yeah. Exactly. Within reason. <laughs> yeah. It's probably just like doing some chores, like something yeah. much less. <laughs> probably. Less indulgent. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we hope you have a good one and um, yeah, wishing we'll you a soon. wonderful Christmas. Happy holidays. Soon. Happy holidays, everyone. Yeah. yeah. And see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.